Hi, my name is Bob Hill and I'm a commercial real estate broker. My 25 years of experience has helped me create the process. This video is an overview and guide for business owners. The steps outlined are necessary in order for them to find the right commercial real estate for their businesses. Please keep watching. Welcome, my name is Bob Hill. I'm a commercial real estate broker and this video is going to be about how to find commercial real estate space for your business. Now, let's get this out of the way first. I'm not a professional YouTube presenter. I'm a commercial real estate broker. And so unfortunately, or fortunately for some maybe, what you're going to have is you're going to have me. Now, a lot of people say that I'm very serious. Well, this is a serious topic. And so that's what it's going to be. This is going to be videos about a serious topic that are related to you and your business. Now, I said I was a commercial real estate broker. I've been in business for over 40, excuse me, 50 years. 25 years of that, I have been working with business owners such as yourself, helping them find space in shopping centers, office buildings, warehouses, medical facilities, etc. Now during that time, a process has slowly emerged and that it has been very helpful to my clients. Now what I wanna do is go over this process with you to see if I can maybe share with you some of my experiences so that I can help you not make any serious mistakes. Now there's gonna be a series of videos, maybe six, seven, or eight. And right now, the first video is gonna be about your space and what kind of space do you need? Now I'm gonna ask you this question and I want you to write it down. What do you want your space to say? Whenever I ask people that, they generally look at me with a blank expression and they say, what do you mean, say? I say, well, your space is going to say something to your employees. It's going to say something to your vendors. It's going to say something to your visitors. And it's going to say something to your uh, customers, particularly to your customers. Now, what I don't want you to do, for instance, is we don't want you as a mergers and acquisitions business to go into just a standard office space. No, you need to be in a space that has lots of marble, it has lots of mahogany, it may have chandeliers and bright lights. We want you to look successful because that's what your space is gonna say. If you are a bankruptcy attorney, you don't need to be in space like that. You need to be maybe in space that's a little more subtle and subdued. Now, write this down. You never change your business practices for the real estate. You find the real estate, and if it's the right real estate location for you, then what you do is you modify your real estate to support your business practices. Number two, how much space do you really need? There's a lot of difference between 3,000 square feet and 5,000 square feet. So we need to define how much space do you really need? There's some architectural measurements that I'm gonna share with you. I have some templates that I'm gonna share with you that are gonna help you come up with a range of space that you need. You're also going to need a budget, and we will talk at that time about the difference between rent and occupancy costs. So, but with the budget, even if it's a preliminary budget, then it's going to give you a general range per square foot of what rent you can pay. Now, if you want to be downtown, but your budget says you've got to be in the suburbs, then you've got a couple of choices. You can take less space or you can change your budget so that you can afford to be downtown. Three, where is it? Is it here? Is it there? Is it there? Where is it? Are you gonna use agents like me to help you find it? Are you gonna use the internet? 
Are you going to just simply drive around to see if you can find it? Look, there are lots of tools out there that can help you when you get to the point of you kind of know what you want, you know what your budget, budget is, geographically you know where you're going to be looking, and those tools can be very helpful to you. So now you've found a space. So now we've got to get into lease negotiation or contract negotiations to buy. Now look, I'm not an attorney. Shakespeare probably had it right, uh, but I do have to deal with attorneys on every single transaction. Uh, I've never, ever had a landlord give me a lease that was favorable to my client. I don't think in your lifetime you're ever going to have a landlord give you a lease that's really favorable to you. There's some specific lease clauses that we are going to talk about that I just simply want you to be aware of because the chances are they're going to be in whatever lease you get and they could be modified. So now you got a lease. So now you got your space. Now it's got to be renovated. Well, by whom? Who's the contractor? Is it going to be the landlord's? Is it going to be yours? You're going to agree on one? How are you going to control, <coughs> excuse me, the contractor? The landlord might have agreed to give you some money to help you renovate the space. But that money should not be used to bring the landlord space up to code. That's the landlord's responsibility, not yours. So how are you going to make sure that the budget for the renovation is appropriate and that it goes into your space? Remember, we don't change our business practices for real estate. If we have to, we renovate the real estate to support our business practices. Okay, so now you've been in there for four or five years. Well, let's say generally four years on a five-year lease. Every month you've had to write that stinking check and you've been diligent about it. You've done it. You've been a good tenant. You know, congratulations. Now you're getting ready to renew. Another thing to write down somewhere, don't ever sign a simple renewal to your lease. There are ways you might be able to improve your position. There could be rent concessions. There could be relief of personal guarantees. There could be reductions in security deposits that you've posted. Or maybe the landlord would be willing to provide you with some money to allow you to make some updates and some renovations to your space. Now, the seventh one right now is going to be leasing versus buying. Now, the process for searching for space is essentially the same, but there's some different considerations for leasing versus buying, uh, and we'll get into some of those because they can be significant. I will tell you this, in my experience, emotions change when people are considering to lease space that may be temporary versus buying space that is going to be forever. But believe me, when you buy something, it's not forever. At some point, somebody is going to have to sell that space. Now, if you want to use a commercial agent, someone like me that's in the business, then these videos will give you the opportunity to think about how you should talk to them, how you should interview them. One of the things I want to stress is that an agent that works for you, their fiduciary responsibility flows to you, not to the landlord, not even to the company that they work for. They flow to you. You want to make sure that the agent understands that. Now, if you want to talk to me, because Hill Corporate Partners is still in the business of providing tenant and buyer representation, 
I'll be delighted to have that conversation with you. Now, these videos are intended to be of use to you. They want to help you as you go about the process of finding commercial space for your business. So here's how you email me. Bob H at hillcorporatepartners.com. Now, I need to know what you're thinking. I need to know whether these videos have been of value to you. I would like your comments. You can email me, as I just said, or you can also write them in the uh, comment section. So thank you very much for looking at the video. We're delighted that you could be here. Uh, and I look forward to uh, getting to know you in some manner uh, as we go forward. And so stay tuned and thanks again for looking in. I hope you found this video of value. If you or any of your friends need representation, contact me at bob h at hillcorporatepartners.com.